Hi, it's Debbie Williams here. I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And today I want to talk about Crohn's disease, ulcerated colitis. Now, my mother suffered from this for 30, well, 40 odd years of her life. And for about the thir first 35 years that she had this, she ended up having a colostomy bag. And she used to complain over and over about the pain and how much it sort of would keep her up at night and how much it sort of really, really hurt her. Now, when she was older, she ended up in a coma and she was in hospital and it looked like she was going to die because she had a whole range of illnesses. And she was fitting, um, they thought it would the cancer that she'd had had spread to the brainstem, etc, etc. And while she was in the coma, the doctor said if she came out, she'd be a vegetable. Now, me being a hypnotherapist, I said to her, you know, if it's your time to die, you can die peacefully and comfortably. And if it's your time to stay, you can come back and you can get well. None of this in between business of a vegetable, because that's no good to her or anybody else. And so when she did come back, it took nine days. I was thinking, well, at least she's fasting. And I've read up quite a bit about fasting. It allows the body to do housekeeping. And so it was allowing her system to cleanse and heal while she was literally out of it. And the first thing that they did when she became conscious, she was very, very confused, is they started feeding her. And they started feeding her this uh, custody-like hospital look food, well, full of dairy. And much as I tried to say to her before that, you know, there's so much uh, evidence linking dairy products in a negative way to Crohn's and um, ulcerated colitis. If you just got the dairy out, that might give your system a breather. She wouldn't listen to me. They were giving her this uh, custard and because she wasn't fully back with us, within about 10, 15 minutes, she started howling, it was like an animal howling in pain and it was horrible to watch. And I had to fight with the hospital of saying, look, you know, I'm qualified in nutrition here. She's lactose intolerant. That was the only thing I could think of saying. You need to get the dairy out of her. Listen to her, she's in pain, just get the dairy. And honest to God, I had to fight and fight and fight. I had to meet with a dietitian, and I had to be a bit bloody minded of, at them and eventually I got them to write on their you know lactose intolerance and stuff and they got the dairy out of her, her diet and so the howling stopped and when she came to live with us I also was able to control her diet not that she appreciated it she called it muck on a truck but that's by the by and I was able to get all the dairy out of her diet and change her diet to be more like one that we would have eaten sort of a couple of hundred years ago. So once a week she would go out and have a cream cake, but her system could actually deal with that because 99% of the time it wasn't having that in her system. And I just wanted to share this with you. There is a lot of evidence out there. Your doctor may not know about it because he's, after he's done his six, seven years training, he's just there helping patients. And within the medical training, they training in nutrition is opt you know is optional and they have minimum of about one day two days training so the average dieter has probably got more knowledge on nutrition than a doctor unless the doctor has gone and done further training so please don't believe me do your research there's a, a website called www.notmilkman there's tons and tons of scientific uh, backup on that if you need help to get dairy out of your diet to try this, I have a recording called Ditch the Dairy, which also has got lots of scientific um, facts on there as well as a hypnosis trance to help you and also lots of suggestions of alternative foods. But the cool thing was the, the six years that she lived after coming out of the coma that the doctor said she was only going to live for a few weeks, she wasn't in any pain whatsoever. It had gone and it was predominantly getting the dairy out of her diet and cleaning up her diet as well. Um, another component of it is relaxation. And you, if you go onto my website, it's linked to the Ditch the Dairy, but there's also on that website, there's a free download on there that you can listen to that will help you with relaxation. So it's great talking to you today. Um, bye now.